If you're watching this video, then that means I have become a successful Amazon FBA seller. You guys, it has been three years since I filmed that little video where I started selling on Amazon and two years since I threw it up on YouTube. I had no idea at the time that I would actually be making YouTube videos like regularly about selling on Amazon. But something in me knew that I wanted to record that first like experience and I'm really glad I did because in August of 2017 is when I kicked off my Amazon selling. If you're new to my channel, my name is Nikki Kirk and I've been selling on Amazon just over three years now all from my RV, this RV office right here. I took the Selling Family training and I think I purchased it in June of 2017, right around, actually probably May, right around when we took off in the RV and I didn't start digging into it until July. It took me about a month and then in August I was out scanning and it took me two weeks and finally about mid-August, August 17th to be exact, I sent in my first shipment and I'm preparing my first shipment to Amazon. So where do I shop for these shipments? So I shop um, at Walgreens, I shop at Walmart. Walmart's my favorite so far. Um, their clearance section is huge. So you just really scan the clearance section and see what is worth buying from them to resell on Amazon. I actually like this video because I filmed what I would was selling, like my very first shipment, even my old printer. And I used to actually use the little stand that the scanner came with. I don't know if that was just for the video or not because I don't remember using it, but who knows. Today I'm going to break down what I actually sold in those first couple shipments in my first months of selling so that you can get a better idea of what to look for as a new seller. It is now December. I've been selling for four months and I finally feel like I'm successful. This week I hit $10,000 in sales in the last 30 days, which is exciting. Over Cyber Monday I also hit a $1,000 sale in a day and then I've gotten a few more of those since then, so that's really awesome. Obviously since I started in August, this time of year is like super special to me. If you are a new seller and you are gated and you really want to make a go at this, you definitely need to get ungated. I created ungating guides specifically for new sellers because they are priced for new sellers who don't have a lot of money when you're starting but you need to be ungated to really make the most of your business and just skyrocket those profits even faster. If you need help, the links are below. Really quickly, I just wanna share some of the stories from people who have recently got ungated, we're talking like this week, and the profits they're seeing, cause you can actually make the money back from the expense of getting ungated right away in one shopping trip. Here is some of the ungating success stories from just this week from members of my Bolo group who are also getting ungated. So this member says, we've been doing the Amazon business for over a year now, but when we found your videos and your guides, we decided to take the leap. Because of you, we finally made over $1,200 in sale in one day. This one comes from the ungating group. So they recently got ungated and you said, I just sent in my first shipment after being ungated in topicals, cleaned out teaching backs and marshals, and probably found $500 of profit in one day. So that right there is two people telling you how it's paying for itself right away. So definitely if you wanna make the most of your business, I highly recommend getting ungated because I waited until October and I only got ungated in grocery and that was a huge relief. So definitely consider it. The guides are available for you when you're ready. You will see some toys in my first shipments because the toy subcategory was not gated like it is now. So now it's gated, you can't even really sell toys. I mean, I think there's still some you can sell, but for the most part, I think even the brands I'm gonna show you would be gated for new sellers now, but you can take a look. I was also gated in topicals, so you're not gonna see any topicals. What you're gonna see is a lot of random stuff, which actually it still is random today, but it was pretty random back then. Here is my very first shipments. The first one was created, like I said, on August 17th of 2017. And it looks like I split it up into three. It was only 25 items total, so it was a small shipment. Normally for new sellers, I'm always recommending at least waiting for 20 items. And you'll see here in a little bit, like, it doesn't have to be a lot, but it needs to be enough that you're not paying a whole lot in shipping and to where it's eating up all your profits. You guys, I was so excited I made this cute little Excel spreadsheet of what I actually sold which is funny, I've never made this sense, but I had found it on my computer. It is my first shipment ever. I don't actually know if this is something that Amazon like put out or if I made it myself, who knows, but here it is for me to relive. My first shipment had a Trans by Jansport backpack and a PC game. So I remember sourcing these. I had been sourcing like Bed Bath & Beyond. I had went to like Target and Walmart, just scanning endlessly and not finding anything. 
And finally, I we were in Utah and I was driving by this like random dusty old discount store and that is where I found these items. I went in and scanned stuff and I found them and they were in good condition, so I sold them. This is not the actual backpack, but it was something like this, a trans by Jansport. And I think those are the brand that's sold at Target, but this was at an outlet store. This is the PC game. I mean, who even knew they made PC games? It was selling. I sold it. So that was another random one I found. This is something I found at Walgreens. It was like on clearance. So I was scanning in Walgreens. I was scanning everywhere. I don't actually regularly shop at Walgreens anymore. Every once in a while someone will post something in the Bolo group that's like CVS or Walgreens and so I'll go there but not a normal place I would scan. I found this cosmetic bag right here and I was not gated in it so I went ahead and sold it and it was a dud. This was my first bad buy. It just kind of sat there. So you learn. This was my first win. I wish I could remember what item I actually sold first, but this here is toilet bowl cleaner. Yep, toilet bowl cleaner. So that was another item I sent in. I think it it says here it's in health and household, but I'm pretty sure it was office supplies at the time. Now this was my big money maker. So what happened was I found this at Walmart. Uh, oh, I also found the toilet bowl cleaner at Walmart during the clearance aisle. So this it was a brand new item in 2017 and for whatever reason that Walmart did not want to put it they didn't want to make room in their normal like foot care aisle so that store just like clearance it out I think it was three dollars and threw it in the clearance aisle I'm scanning clearance so I stumbled upon it and it was I think they were going for fifteen dollars and they were costing three dollars so that was my big win I think in my first shipment I sent in, let's take a look, six of them all together. That must have been, I only found six at the store. So I sent in six and they sold right away. So now I went to every Walmart looking for them. I actually looked in the clearance aisle and then I realized that this was in the regular aisle. So then I would go to all the different, I remember going all over, I think it was Cleveland, Ohio, just grabbing them all. I would literally go to Walmart, stop, Go to the aisle, grab them off the shelf, get in the car, go right to the other Walmart, just clearing the shelves of Walmart. Sometimes that's what you have to do when you find a winner and you're new. You gotta take advantage of that and really keep it going. So you'll see as I continue on through my shipments, you'll see Odor Eater in there a lot. And like, in a lot of quantity. Another item I found was this My Life As Doll. That's Walmart's version. Uh, Target also has Our Generation. As a new seller, I'm pretty sure you can sell these doll lines. So definitely get out there and scan because some of them make a lot of money. It's hard because there's a lot of them and they don't always show up. So you got to scan like using the front of your phone instead of the EPC. Scan it like you're taking a photo and they'll usually come up. You may even have to search it either on Amazon.com or in the seller app. Here's a tip. Sometimes when you're searching in the seller app and the name comes up like autofill, it won't pull up in the seller app, but it auto-filled, so I'm like, something's weird there. Just head to Amazon.com and search for it there, pull the ace in there, and then go back to your seller app and you'll find it. It's really annoying, but that's a way to get around it. So, sometimes you have to search typing for the items, especially these, like, store brand items. So that was my very first shipment. Already, I mean, I know now that they were duds. Some of them were duds, mostly those Wonder Woman cosmetic pouches but at the time I was super excited to have something to send in and it was a good learning experience. What's crazy to me is the new sellers in my Bolo group are doing so much better than I did when I started like crazy better and I think they kind of could tell and I've been trying to tell them like you're doing like really good keep it up because I wish I had done that great when I started. Actually right now this year has been a crazy year I'm sure you're aware but as an Amazon seller, it's been like Q4 pretty much all year round. There was some little weirdness in April and May when we didn't know what we were doing and everything was locked down. But since everything's kind of opened back up again, it has been like Christmas year round and Amazon sales are going crazy, which is probably why a lot of the new sellers are doing so great right out the gate. So here we have my second shipment was on August 21st. It was eight SKUs and 26 items all together. I wish I could remember actually where I sourced these. I can remember the like store. I remember buying this book. It's really weird. Like it was in this bin. I don't remember where it was, but it was definitely a random mom and pop store. If you're having trouble and you're not able to find anything, I highly recommend going to look for these little one-off, like not a chain store, discount stores. They're a little harder to find and you got to use Google Maps and sometimes you just got to look around when you're driving. 
you might see some of these stores if you see something that is brand new in packaging to the point where you can give this item as a gift then you can sell it on amazon also if it's in your area make friends with the manager because maybe or the store or no maybe they'll let you know when they get something cool in or if you say you're looking for a type of thing or maybe they'll even give you a deal so definitely utilize everything you can to make the most profit and make your business run as easy as possible so from this shipment i actually remember some of these are from big lots so this sh i feel like this shilling i can't even say it is from tuesday morning but this iHome mouse that was from big lots this cam caddy that's actually something that was just at the house that was brand new and so we just sent it in because it was it would make a lot of money and sad news someone returned it and we got it back so it didn't work out but if you have something at your house that's brand new and you're not using it scan it maybe you could sell it we see here i have six more odor eaters and then this veggie pasta deluxe i got this from big lots i think it was ten dollars and it just tanked i don't even think I think I ended up losing money on this one. And this is my second shipment. So you guys, you gotta learn somehow. You might as well learn in the beginning and sometimes you gotta take the hits. I will say that it took a long time to sell so I didn't lose the money right away. This is a variation of it. I didn't sell this one because I wouldn't sell it if it had the as seen on TV on the label but it was a variation of this and I was getting it from Sally's Beauty Supply. So that's another random area store you might want to check out. So now my next shipment was kind of a big one. So we have here August 23rd. It, and it looks like it ended up going into four different shipments, 38 units all together. And actually it looks like I sent in a shipment the 23rd, 24th, 29th, and 30th. So I don't know why I was sending them in so frequently. I would actually recommend to just wait and pack everything all in one but maybe I was just super excited and wanted to send it in I can't remember so as I was pulling all my shipments up I can tell you that almost everything here is Walmart clearance aisle like I still remember all these swimways this was a, a power tool like a battery for a power tool all of these were Walmart clearance aisle so that was my best friend and I was there all the time some are better than others I will say some kind of suck but some have a lot of good stuff and you got to scan everything. Here's another one. This was a Disney uh, fishing rod for kids, like the whole set that it comes with. And again, we've got the odor eaters. So here I had 17 on this one and 12 on this one. Now this is an interesting one. I think I was starting to source Toys R Us. Remember Toys R Us? At this point. So the Ozark Trails, those are just Walmart's brand of water bottle. They were in the clearance aisle, or not water bottle, coffee mug. They were in the clearance aisle. They were similar to this. They were different colors. Even though if you're scanning Walmart, it's Walmart branded, generally it might not be there, but it might. And in this instance, I was selling a lot of these. And then another item was Chubby Puppies. It was these little sets. I don't know if they sell them anymore. I haven't seen them in stores, but they had little sets there at Target, Toys R Us, Walmart. I think that Spin Master, who is who makes this, I think that one was ungated at the time. I'm not sure if it's gated for you right now, but it's worth a shot of looking at. And then when you identify like someone like that, if you can sell toys, but you're gated in the big toy brands, first I could help you get ungated. But if you can't do that yet, look at what the toy is, who makes it to see, because if they make other type of items or other um, characters you can probably also sell them if they are from the same one so in this case spin master I think they also made the little pets live I was gated in the big brands but I could sell some toys so it was really helpful because that started to be most of my shipments later on here's a, another Walmart clearance aisle so we've got the odor eaters hmm, this was a big one 42 I sent on this one and then I also had Disney Moana sh sheet sets. So if you're new, you can sell in kitchen and home and those kind of things. So I was scanning, these were in the clearance aisle, so I was scanning them, but now guess what? I'm also scanning them in the regular aisle just to see what there is there. Uh, another Walmart clearance aisle, fine. So we, we've got my order readers, 33 on this one. But then I was also selling baseballs. It was like a set of baseballs end of season towards, it was probably September by this point. So it was like a set of 12 balls was just in a bag and they were making money I scanned them and sent them so this shipment I wanted to share with you because again it's another random we're talking in the middle of nowhere country outside of Lexington in North Carolina I remember it we went back there this year 
or late last year, I can't remember when we were there. We were there recently and I went back to the store because it was a really good money maker, especially for me as a new seller. So I got a book there. I don't even know what this is, some kind of tape. Apparently I was selling tape. I got a chainsaw, <laughs> replace it like a saw, like the chain for the chainsaw. You guys scan everything. Just because you wouldn't buy it and you don't need it doesn't mean other people don't. This Oogie plated cocktail shaker, that was from there. All of these were from there. Another battery. So when I find things that I can sell, like I scanned all the different foot like insoles when I found the odor readers. When I found the battery pack at Walmart, now I'm scanning all battery packs and power tools. And that's what you have to do. If you see something that you can sell, scan in that category, scan wider, scan everything. Because if you can sell that, it's highly likely that you'll be able to sell other things in that same category and genre. Okay, so this is from a November shipment. At this point, I am now ungated in grocery. Here is an example of this one. I remember getting these Burt's Bees. These are the first clothing item that I sold and then I realized, wow, like baby kids clothes is a good money maker and also you can sell that if you're gated and everything. So definitely check out clothes. So I got this. I think it's called Bargain Hunt and Bargain Hunt is interesting store. It is kind of hard. It's mostly stuff from like Target but they'll like slash through the UPCs but every once in a while you can find some good things there. You just got to make sure they are in new condition. So I have a shower curtain. I got that from Big Lots. We've got holiday pops. We've got some tablecloths, some Ghirardelli, Orchard Valley Harvest Packs, more Chubby Bunnies, Toblerone, Peppa Pig, so these I feel like I'm getting at Ross. And some more My Life as the doll. So you can see that most of the stuff that I was selling before, I'm following that theme and I'm scanning that same item and I'm just continuing on that path. Scanning other things to see where it takes me, but I'm still looking for the things that I know that I can sell and that do sell. Now you don't see any odor eaters anymore because the price started to go down. Someone else realized it was a good buy and suddenly the race to the bottom started. It happens, but man, I was selling them like crazy while I could. I still vividly remember the day that I hit a thousand dollars of sales in one day, and that was Cyber Monday. And it was such an exciting day because I was like, yes, I'm gonna have more of these days more often, and I'm gonna have thousand dollar days like all the time. And it's been so much fun selling on Amazon. It is a wild ride and I really encourage you to jump in and if you've been thinking about doing it, just do it because it is a lot of fun and this year is the perfect time to start selling. I highly recommend getting ungated, but if you cannot afford to get ungated, then please do not focus on the stuff you're gated in. If you can't sell toys, don't scan toys because you'll find other areas if you're open to looking for them, like tools or random clearance aisle stuff. You can't focus on what you can't sell or you're going to miss all the other stuff that you can sell because believe me, there is a lot of stuff out there as a new seller that you can sell. Very quickly, I'm just going to read through a list that the Bolo Group has put together of all the different items that new sellers can scan. So we've got clothing, sporting goods, books, home goods, kitchen items, cutlery, dishes, dish drying towels, frying pans, spatulas, clothing, socks, bras, baby clothes, Carter's brand, water bottles, food storage bags, pet supplies, party supplies, sporting goods, puzzles, arts and crafts, home storage, office supplies, pet supplies, sporting goods, crafts, kitchens, and we're getting into the same stuff. So those are just some of the categories that I would recommend scanning as a new seller. Again, don't focus on what you can't sell because then you're, that's all you're going to look at. Focus on the stuff that you can sell. Go out there, scan everything, keep scanning, get ungated if you can. If you want to join the Bolo group and have other sellers helping you like this list did, then definitely consider joining that. All my links are below and thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a new seller, I highly recommend just jumping in if you can because I don't think you'll regret it. It is a lot of fun and this time of year is the best time to start selling. So definitely get at it. I said I was going to wait until I was successful to finish this vlog and I feel like I am. So this vlog should be out pretty soon. <laughs>